welcome back to the third video in our robo series so there's also a disclaimer i want to tell you we added a new feature called the behind the scenes or we or the drawing of the circuit so behind the scenes is the first part the assembly is the second part and the third part is finally the testing so the reason but you will notice a slight change in the assembly and this introduction that i am doing here because the real the recording of the assembly and the testing was done a little while ago so that's why i look a little different also i actually added some background music from my own keyboard and even i also played some notes so you should also give the credit to me and yeah i hope you enjoy the video please like and thank you And today we're going to be doing in today's episode what will be Mosso. This is a nano robot. It has one sensor that we are all familiar with in the previous episode. That is the sound. And there is also another sensor. Now we will tell you that. Okay. So now we can tell the components or about this Mosso robot here. So first of all, you need. And AND gate IC, this right here. Can you see AND gate IC? 
Okay, now we get it over here, and I'm familiar, we're of course familiar with the sound. Hello. Let this one go. And now for the grand finale, we can take that, in. and also we need a background. Any size will do, but I think the small can only fit here, so I think you should do it with the small. We need some jumbo cables, so jumbo cables for them. Right here, so, but there is a problem now for me. That is, I only have three male and female ones. I need a lot of male and female. If you also are in the same situation, so what are these male and female? So this is male, female, like that. We have three of them like that. Actually, four of them. But that is not enough for us. So we came up with the solution. We have to take a female, female, and a male, male, and just join together like this. As you can see, this one doesn't have any points, and we can just insert this like this, and we can make a big wire. And then, for the grand finale, we have the motion sensor. That is a motion sensor and sound sensor. So, as you can see, you can adjust the timing, the radius and all that. And if you open this, this is the real sensor. And in all of this, uh, all of the motion sensors, in the middle, it is always the output. And in the ground, is left. And VCC is right. So right here, we can just right here, and I know it. It's a little hard to put it back like this. So now we can do it. So guys, now we can start the creation and assembly of our robot. But you guys might be thinking, wait, all of these are already done. In our first video, Rainbow Sensor robot you can go and check the creation of the robot we've already assembled this that's why we put it like this and we don't show the assembly only the circuits so now let's put it and now we have to put our sensor somehow I don't know how can we put it we can put it any way we want but this one should at least face this face this way and also the circuit should be up it's a hard, it's really, I usually do it like this. So you kept this over here. Now you can uh, put the IC right here. It's a little hard to put IC. Should I call help from my assistant there? Okay, we should have. We don't need to, we can just stick it over here now. And now we're going to put the sound sensor. Okay, let's put the sound sensor. Okay, 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 okay. Why should we put it here? Oof. Okay, now it looks like this. So the VCC is over here. Now we need to put the VCC to the here. Right here. We need to put it to 14. That is the edge of this. Oh no, our motion sensor has fell down, so we need to again take it. First of all, just... Okay, focus here. That's very hard. It's kind of hard. Let me see. Okay, I did it. Now we're gonna do this. We can do it any side we want, so... Worry about it too much. Okay, I guess this is also done. Now we can, as you can see, there's also a circuit here, so you need to look here. Right here, the, we have fixed the VCC. Now we can go to ground. So for ground, it is a different thing. For ground, as you can see, it goes to the seventh pin. I just rubbed that a little bit off and by hand. Seventh pin is the ground, so we need to take one hand little big wire and not too big. This is, this is a mini wire. You can then take this 
and the ground is of the middle over here. The ground is in middle. Put it to here. Very. It's kind of hard because it's not really that this paper isn't that good of a surface. Okay, okay we're done. Now the next thing we need to do is yeah. oh, so that happened. Okay, next thing we need to do is the out there. So the out goes like this to here to here to two. So I need a pen. This big deal. This is a very big one. We need a medium size pen. But there are only three pins. We have no pins here, so don't need to worry. These are very big pins, so we need to take small pins. So this is the last small pin we have, so we can take this. Out. I'm not ready to put it. We need to inject it. Inject. Okay, now we have this. We need to put it to two here. And now we have this very big one like that. Okay, just tilt that. And now we can go on to this. This is the motion sensor. But PIR full form is passive infrared sensor. So now we can not talk about the full forms. Move on to that. So, as you can see, the VCC, VCC is always on the right. But if you look at this from the back, it is actually on the left, right. And now we can do it. Sometimes I get kind of confused. Yeah. We need to do a check. Okay, so we can start with ground. In ground, of course, we need to, like, in this one, we need uh, that other type. The radio. For this one, and now what we need to do is put this. This is a negative, right? So we need to get put it here, just the other place. And then we need one more wire. So we need to take this one and put it in the positive. You can do any color you want, so don't think I'm only following of my colors. You can do your favorite colors. This is very loose. So you can take it off. Let's take this. Uh, what color is this? We're not talking about colors. So. I think it putting it out first is easier. So it doesn't be too complicated. Out in this one just goes to the whole first one. But you have more. See, the out in this goes to here. It doesn't go to seven. So it okay. Now I was doing it down that time. The out goes to here, here into one. Already done the ground. Now we can do the VCC. And uh, which one should we go? We can go. Now we can go and. Put it on the put it on the VCC right here. Okay, okay now we can and uh, now we can actually put it on the place we need to. So it was VCC, right? So we need to put it here. Okay, I think the sound sensor is going to use. Okay, and now we've completed all of this. Now moving on to the final parts of the Moso robot. And we all are gonna turn off this, right? So now we can move on the final item. So now we need to from 14. We need to put a wire to it. But there is this extra wire. That means there is something missing. What did we miss? Out? We didn't miss anything. And I think there's an extra wire, so and now for the last one, we need to put put this on the VCC here. And plug this on plus 5V. And then we also need negative. And this is the part where these come to use. 
the mega wires. As you can see, these are the very big wires that we just made for if we don't have those wires. And now we need to connect the rest on to negative here and then just with this big wire just throw here and put it here. Now final lap of it. From 2 we have to again connect it to I1 and I3 separate. So from 2 that's why you only have like two wires. This one is an extra so.